Time to talk winners and losers with our financial expert, Rob Black. And Rob, I see your headline, Stocks Swim in a Sea of Red. That sounds yeah. a little dramatic and doomsday-ish for you. Well, keep in mind, we've had five up months in a row. We've had three straight months to start the year. We're up 10% for the year. We haven't seen a lot of red recently, so I kind of want it to be dramatic because it feels dramatic. I see. Um, but you're right. I'm being I'm taking some liberties there. Like you're not worried. Oh, you're no. never worried. Well, the reason is <laughs> the interest rates moved higher to 4.3% okay. high for the year yeah. because the economy is doing so well. So we're now expecting only two rate cuts instead of three. At the start of the year, we were expecting six. Rate cut equals easy market moves higher because it, the alternative is save money in a bank and get nothing or put money in the market and take a little more risk and get something is the idea. Which is not always right, but that's the idea. Bitcoin's down 5,000 buckaroos today, sitting around 65,000. That's a rough 24 hours. Oil's hitting a little bit higher as well, so there's some concerns there. Tesla fundamentally said that deliveries and production are slipping. Deliveries down 5%. Um, people who wanted to buy a Tesla in 2016, that was about 70%. Now it's down to 31%. So his antics... Um, on social media are starting to reputationally hurt the company. Ah, all right. Uh, now I can't wait to get the update on this boring story, and I'm not being silly. I mean, I actually was really interested in the boring company, but I didn't think it went anywhere, and I only knew about the L.A. tunnel that kind of went nowhere. It went, exactly. You're, you're on to it. Ten years ago, we've been talking about the promise for, for ten years now, and there's one tunnel. It's 2.4 miles the bigger problem is at the Boring Company is a lot of people are getting hurt. 36 people in the past six months. SpaceX has had 600 people hurt in the last 10 years. So Elon Musk is the very cutting edge, and the Boring one is the tunnel, so that sounds dangerous. Mm. SpaceX is space, so that sounds dangerous. Mm. But um, a lot of people are getting hurt, and that's going to catch up wait with minute, that movie. Wait a minute. He can get to space, but he can't bore a hole in the Earth for, 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 a, for a train or a tunnel or a, I don't know, he's, there was a transport of cars. These tunnels are huge. There's something out of science fiction. Mm. And the drill that, I mean, there's only like two drills. I think maybe one, but I think it's two. Yeah. Um, and it looks dangerous. You know, rocks fall from the underground. Right. And big things that spin that are made of metal that don't stop when a human touches it. I see. Sounds, Better sounds that dangerous. we go up. I, I think in the end, what I'm trying to get at is, He's got a lot of great concepts, and space seems to be working really, really well. Tesla seems to be slipping because he's focusing on X, and Boring Company went nowhere. Yeah, uh, <laughs> right. No, exactly. It's it's a it's a hole that stops, goes nowhere. Um, what what on earth is going on with Apple that they didn't want John Stewart to talk to the FTC? Like, I mean, it's is there some big secret that we would yeah. find out about? So he's on The Daily Show, and he's back on The Daily Show. And last night he had Lena Khan. She's in charge of looking at, um, she's in charge of looking at, um, um, and he told her, like, yeah, Apple, he had a podcast with him uh, that was awesome video. And he said, Apple came to me a year ago, and they said they didn't want you on. They told me, please don't put Lena Khan on. And it, it just kind of, it goes with the big companies are protecting themselves, and they don't want, you know, China's feelings hurt, or they don't want the U.S. consumer feeling that Apple's a monopoly. Um, so there's a lot going on there to me that Apple looks sweet mm. and they smile and they say all the right things, but they're manipulating their image aggressively. So John Stewart left the Apple podcast I on see. Apple TV um, because they disagreed, um, Apple and he. So on, you know, stories like China and stories like um, FTC antitrust into. Um, investigations. I see. All right, and what's going on with these uh, Amazon boxes? Because I know that I like having the Amazon box because it hides what's inside, you know, if it's okay. a gift or, you know, that kind of thing. Or I don't want something volatile sitting outside. But they're going to change that? Yeah, they, they want to change it. It's a lot of wasted cardboard. Yeah, it is. Um, and Amazon basically said, you know, about 11% of the packages show you what they are, i.e. the original manufacturer's packaging. So they want to get down to zero um, of Amazon's brown boxes and 100% of the manufacturing uh, packaging. But if you take all the cardboard, not just Amazon, but all the cardboard we use to ship in the United States every year, yeah, it can build a one mile high wall all the way around the country. Um, if you want to keep Canadians and Mexicans out, yeah, you can not very, cardboard but it's just cardboard. Wall. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, or it can do a mile wide road from New York City to LA. It's a lot of waste. A lot is of what cardboard. It comes down to.
All right, lastly, just real quickly, is college a waste? Because it seems like more and more kids are saying they don't want to do it, they're just going to go into a trade. Yeah, um, AI might put them out of a job in white collar, so enrollment in vocational schools up 16% in the last three years. For construction schools, which are two-year up 12% um, since 2021, I think that's great. I would love for my kid to consider college alternatives, not because I'm being cheap, but because they pay well, and they have job safety, whereas college creates debt and the costs are going up. And if you get the wrong degree, mm. it may never have a return on investment. So the median college accountant, i.e. a white collar job where you become an accountant or IT service, about 39520 bucks. Mm -hmm. The median pay for construction work in the United States, $48,089. So some are looking at the careers um, for Generation Z as more blue collar, safe and um, higher paying than spending so much money and so much debt on the white college. So jobs. would you go so far as to say if your kids major in poetry, you're not going to pay for the college? I, I would pay for it. I'd be disappointed. Right. And I would tell them that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Learn welding to, on the side, right? Learn I welding. Talk, well, I talked to a PG&E uh, electrician the other day. Yeah. And I said, how's the career? And he said, it's an amazing career. Yeah. It's unbelievable. We get paid so much money. They treat us well. We get a lot of vacation time. Yeah. I'm like, no college degree? And he's like, nope. <laughs> nope. Oh, I would consider it. Okay, you could write poems on the side. I thank you, Rob. <laughs> yes. Good day. Um, see you later. If you have a question or a comment for Rob, you can reach him on X, Facebook, or directly email him.